Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about streams, about input, about output. We would like to be more familiar with that word. Otherwise, we'll have just problems, we'll have to memorize everything by heart. So, we won't understand it, we'll just write some kind of code that we won't understand. Let's understand this topic from the scratch, from the beginning. Okay, so what is the stream? Well, let's look at the pictures. Look, here is the stream. But what the hell is stream? You see, you are probably right now, hey, this is just a water. Let's talk about programming, right? Of course, we talk about programming, but look, here's the stream. You can see that the water is moving there. It is flowing from one place to another, from something what is called input to something what is output. <laughs> look, from the top to bottom. Stream is a, some kind of object in programming uh, that allows us doing these operations behind the scene, right? And they are called stream just because of it, because they're allowing us to do these things, right? Okay, and now, okay, so what is uh, in that programming, for example, input? Uh, what is that water in the programming? Well, look at the programming. Uh, situation in the programming language the water is information bytes right bytes that are moving from one place from something what is called input to another place to for example variable or for example something what is called output for example to the monitor so we can see it right uh, so to sum up we can move, for example, bytes represented by characters from the user keyboard, which is input in that situation, to the file, which is output in that situation. So we can think about input uh, as an entrance to something, right? It is a source later. We can put something in, for example, characters, they are waiting there and we can extract them. So the input is like the source. We can extract things from the input. And we can think about output as the place where you want to put something out. Look how I emphasize that thing. Output, put out something, right? We can also, for example, here in the comment, do something like it. Put in from a keyboard. Put out to the file. So as you can see, in, put, out, put, right? So output is some kind of destination. And put, input is some kind of source. Entrance, exit, or something like that. Here we have a very simple program, which right now does nothing, but uh, well, we include here a very large library, which is input, output, stream. So it has got an object, stream, which allows us flowing, moving that information from input to output. Right now, the input is represented by the object which is, which is called cin. So it is like, you can, for example, remember it as CPP input. We can put things there to that thing. And we can take things from that input. Exactly, we can put their characters from the keyboard. And we can put them later, for example, to variable A, which we have to also declare here. Define, exactly. And when we run this program, and right now I am typing numbers and the numbers are being put here and then they are moved to A. So on the input things are waiting and when we type here and then they are moved to the variable A. But we can also move the things to other place. We could also move them to the output, right? So we could do something, for example, C out. Let's send something to the output. So with that arrow, okay, 
something like that. We are moving it outside. So everybody can see it. So we can run it. And as we can see, now we can see also the 55 that we put here to the input. And look, right now we are not talking about five, somebody could say. <laughs> no, no, look, it is very, very similar because right now we can, for example, take things from the source from, for example, that input and put them inside the file. Or we can say that the file will be the input. It will be the source this time. And we'll take things from there and we'll put it outside to, for example, user so he can see it on the monitor. So you see the file can be once the source and once it can be the destination. We want to sometimes write to it, but we can also want to, uh, we can also take things from the file, right? It also, it all depends on the situation. And we will talk about these situations. We also talk about other library that will exactly do things on files. It is very similar uh, in next lesson. Thank you very much.